And it's really get, about getting them to be engaging in the family. And that's what it is. It's like, okay, we have to figure out why are you on this mindless activity, scrolling on Instagram or YouTube for four hours instead of engaging in your family or doing the responsibilities that you're supposed to. We got to figure that out. What is the pain? You're listening to the smartsocial.com podcast. I'm your host, Josh Oaks. Now let's get back to the interview. Hello, parents, and welcome to the smartsocial.com podcast. I'm your host, Josh Oaks. You've seen me for a decade. My goodness, it's been a long time. Traversing the whole country, going to high schools, middle schools, parent meetings. I've even been to churches, and we've been sharing the good word of how to keep students safe online on social media so they can someday launch and shine online into their future. And that could mean college, career. But you might be watching this video or listening to the podcast because something else might be happening. You might have a student who might be addicted to their screen, maybe playing Fortnite video games a lot. We hear this all the time. They're, maybe their mood changes. Maybe they're unable to control emotions. Maybe their anger comes out. Maybe they don't want to eat dinner because they're like, Mom, you don't understand. I've got 15 minutes left in this Fortnite game. You don't even understand. Maybe they're rushing to the snack drawer to grab something highly processed food to then shove it in their face so they can keep gaming till 4 a.m., which leads to them not getting enough sleep, which leads to them maybe only having friends online and not making friends at school. We have a new staff member. Her name is Lisa. She's incredible. She's talked with over a thousand parents. We scoured the world and we found her. And we're honored today to have her featured here. You may have seen her in a previous episode. I'm, I'm excited to have her here with us because if any of that sounded like it's you, or maybe the negative self-talk we've talked about in the past, lacking self-confidence or self-esteem, it goes on and on. We have what we call the dirty dozen, where we know the top dozen issues that parents are seeing in their kids. I want to talk right now about screen addiction and gaming systems, and I want to tell every parent, if you're struggling with this, we have consultations available with Lisa that you can set up, and you can do that at smartsocial.com. It's easy. It's fun. Because I got a text today from a parent saying, thank you. This was amazing. Thank you for listening to me. And this parent uh, actually texted Lisa and said, thank you for listening to me. I have someone to confide in. I need these resources, this, this, and our team goes to town to help you. So if you're looking for resources or just a friend, we want to be those people. Okay, Lisa, if I'm a parent and I'm saying, my kid is addicted to screen time, I'm seeing behavioral issues, but they're always online. They're scrolling. Maybe they have one word answers. What would you tell uh, parents who are struggling with these devices as I hold up the iPhone, this Ferrari that's so dangerous, that goes so fast? Um, what would you tell them if they're worried that their kids are addicted to screens? I would tell them that screen addiction, whether it's a video game or a phone, it's really just a mindless activity. So that's why a parent can walk into their son's room and see him pressing all these buttons on a remote of a video game. And as an adult, we would have to look at it and say, A, B, and press it over and over again. But the kid is just moving his thumbs like you wouldn't believe. It's because it's a mindless activity. He knows what buttons to push to get the people on the screen to move on his game. But once he has that screen addiction, what he does is he's blocking out everything else that he has to deal with. He doesn't have to worry about homework or the lack of friends or, you know, whatever he's going through. His room is a mess and his parents are yelling at him to clean it. It's just a mindless activity. So with coaching, what we do is we really get them unstuck from that mentality so that these teens leave their rooms. They come out of their rooms. They're, they're not going to, I will tell you with coaching, I'm not saying they're going to quit the video games or any addiction of screen that they have. That's not the case. But, you know, parents will see less and less where they start to have these conversations. You know, the child is turning off the video game system before the time is up at night. And, and it's really got about getting them to be engaging in the family. And that's what it is. It's like, okay, we have to figure out why are you on this mindless activity, scrolling on Instagram or YouTube for four hours instead of engaging in your family or doing the responsibilities that you're supposed to. We got to figure that out. What is the pain? Kids run away from pain. Teenagers run away from pain, just like adults. So what is the pain? We got to figure that out. And through coaching, what we can do is we can really work with you on really changing your mindset, getting you goal oriented, getting you some confidence and then real friends in person. A lot of parents have a hard time having them turn off that video game system because that's where they have their quote unquote friends. And parents know they don't have any real in-person friends, so they don't want to take those video game friends away. So they're, they're really conflicted. Parents are conflicted. They don't know what to do. So we're here to help. And parents 
just like Lisa said, you're not alone, but simply getting upset at your kids. And there's no shame in this. Smart social doesn't have any shame, but a lot of parents will say it doesn't work when I say, just go outside. Yeah. When we were kids, we would just go outside. We'd get bored. We'd come home, you know, before dinner. And the world was a different place. I feel like 20 years ago, but nowadays it's very different. And so I also want to leave you with something parents that we tell people all the time. It is a very normal outcome when you see kids picking up these devices that are so expensive and becoming addicted to them. This is exactly what the devices and the manufacturers and the technology companies want is they use the color red and the color blue to their benefit. They do things so that kids have uh, their eyeballs are glued to these. We've seen it from one year old all the way up to 99 years old. It works for all of us. So if your kids are addicted to screens, if they get angry when you take the screen away, that is a very normal outcome that is carefully, psychologically, systematically designed to create that in your kids so you'll give it back to them so then things can happen and they're glued to that device. Well, we want to get you unstuck, as Lisa said. And so we'd love for you to consider if you know of a friend, and it may not be your family, but if you know of a friend who wants to set up a consultation with Lisa we're here to do that. We believe very much in this because we want to build confident, resilient students that at the age of 25 are launching into an amazing career, doing incredible things. Elisa has a couple of those kids of her own that are amazing engineers. And we're so uh, proud of all the, the smart social.com parents who've done that over the years. But we want to help the rest of them. So we hope you'll click the links below to set up a call with us meet with Lisa, ask us any questions. We'll walk you through our 450 resources. Thanks so much for listening. Uh, we'll see you on the next episode. Have a great day.